This is Lay with Crash Test Hobby, showing you how to install LED, LED lights in your plane. I'm going to start by putting a strip of white lights in a Pelican fuselage. I'm going to mark where I'm going to install the lights, which is down the center of the fuselage. And cut a slit with a razor blade. And then widen that slit with a soldering iron. I like to have two different lighting setups in the plane so that if one fails, I'm not in the dark and still able to see my plane. The advantage of using white lights is you can put a piece of colored tape over the top and it will change any color. But if you put colored lights, it doesn't work. The razor blade will cut the tape and also the laminate if you're adding them after the plane is built and allows you to get some space to slide the lights in. In this particular case, I'm putting the lights on their side, not aiming them straight down. Uh, this uh, dims the lights slightly so they're not brighter than the wing, and it's also a lot easier, and I tend to be lazy when I do this. If you point the lights straight down, they can be very bright and even leave a white spot on the ground from some distance in the air. As you can see, I'm now making a hole for the electrical wires to get to the battery. And I'm going to feed those wires up through. Now as you're sliding the lights into the slot that we just made, make sure you don't kink it enough that it breaks the set and the wiring inside the lights. I'm now trimming it to length. Then I'm going to peel the backing off. One thing you also have to be careful of is when you put LED lights in a plane, you're adding a lot of weight behind center of gravity. And it can force you to add more weight to the nose of the plane to compensate for the weight of the lights in the tail. I very gently work the lights into the slit. Try not to bend it too much. Once it's in there and they're slamming it over the top, it's pretty indestructible. And you'll notice I did fold the last lights over. I could have folded the strip I trimmed off over if I would have wanted to. But I'm just trying to save weight at the back of the plane. LEDs can be affected by water, so it's always good to, especially on the fuselage, it's always good to put some laminate or tape over them. They're also sensitive to heat. But now I'm going to show you the fuselage. Notice how one side is brighter than the other. But up in the air, you can't tell the difference. We're now going to test the lights that are going in the wing. Now, these are programmable lights. And by flipping the retract switch on my transmitter, I can change what the lights are doing from the ground, which is kind of fun. You'll notice as I flip that switch that I go into, I can change from solid colors to flashing lights. And I tend to use both when I'm flying. It can be kind of irritating after a while if all you're doing is flashing the lights, but it's fun also sometimes. I have one plane where I also have a set of programmable lights in the fuselage, and I have them on different switches, so I can do two different things at once. When you get to your wing, you need to make a pattern that you want to put uh, on the wing with the lights. I like the dragonfly look, so I'm putting two strips on the wing and one down the fuselage without any lights in the tail. You want the lights to be buried in the foam. You don't want them disrupting airflow either under or over the wing, especially on the top. I've seen some people put their LEDs facing up on the top of the wing and they lose a lot of their lift. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting a slot where the bulbs will be down inside the wing. There will be no lights on top of the plane. The light will actually glow up through the plane. And you'll see the one set of lights from both the top and the bottom. You can see uh, along the strip of the programmable lights that there's a joint where you can cut the lights in 
into pieces. Those joints will take solder like this, and uh, they are a little bit hard to solder. You need a very clean soldering iron with a fine point, and it uh, also helps to use a little flux, but the solder does stick individually to those copper connections. You can see that there's a cord here to plug into the receiver, and also another cord where I've put a plug that will go onto the balance plug of the battery. Now what I do is I'm not gluing the lights, I'm gluing the backing to the lights. And I'll put a little glue along both edges of the, of the slot, put the lights in place, and just press them in and hold them there until they cool. Now let's continue on around the way. Once again, I put a little glue down one side of the slot, then back up the other side. You gotta be fast with this. And then I press the lights into place. Now you'll notice that uh, I don't have lights on the edge ends of the core of the wing tips. I have uh, some extensions that I've soldered into place. But if you wanted, you could, and we're laying the lights on their side, you could just take them around that corner without having to do the soldering. Now, after I've got the lights laid in like this, I will pull the backing off and I'll put some baking powder on it so that they don't, or, or talcum powder, baby powder, just so that they won't stick to everything. Or sometimes I will laminate over the top so that uh, the lights are protected from water. It also keeps them clean and they last longer. And you can see I started to peel the backing. I don't think I showed the backing being peeled in this video. If you have any lights that are loose, just go back and apply some more glue. Now here's what the wing will do uh, as I test the different programs. And this is a Pelican wing, a Pelican fuse. It is an aileron wing. There are nine flashing and solid cup patterns that you can change and choose in flight. And you'll notice I put two strips of black tape on the bottom of the wing. This is so that when I, the wing is, uh, when I'm looking at the top of the plane, I can tell top from bottom. So even from a long distance away, those two black stripes are my key that I'm looking at the bottom of the plane. And you'll notice that when I flip the lights on, it makes my camera adjust for the lights that are in the room. But, but uh, here's some of the different functions of the lights. The colored tape that's on the top of the wing is so that I can fly the plane in the day, too. You can choose four or five different solid colors, and then you can choose fade-ins and fade-outs, or slow flashing and fast flashing. Thanks for watching. This is Lee with Crash Test Hobby. Enjoy your playing.